Welcome back to some more Monster Train, a monster action doing these normal 200 plus shards in rotation sill because it's a fun time. Uh, let's see, last time, last time we were melting remnant. Uh, made some interesting spicy deck decisions, especially in that mid game, but it well. I'd say watch the episode. Spoilers, right? I don't know. Is there spoilers in YouTube videos for a game that people play in individual runs? I'm not sure. But it was a... Uh, it made the streak continuation interesting. I'll just say that much. So clearly it worked out in the end, but it was... <laughs> It was a unique call, let's call it. Anyways, we are on to Wormkin. We are the Spine Chief. Let's go. Okay, so we are getting our reforms again with ah, Drakes. I don't, I'm not always or really ever a big fan of Drakes with either Wormkin just because it kind of limits uh, high charged echo turns. Let's see what our gift is. Ooh, yes, I love an exploding candle with Drake's though. Okay, and then, uh, bum, bum, bum. how bad is my greed? How bad is my greed? Screw this, let's take the Infector. I enjoy the Infector more. I know the other one's super strong, pumping up Unix, blah, 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 but come on, the Infector's, it's a fun time. All right, you get to go down first, you get to go up top. Really sad to see both of those right away, though. Poor reforms already gone. Um, I'm gonna do that. That's gonna take 20, that is fine. Let's reap this out and this out. Oh no, I took three. Anyways. <sighs> Armor. My nemesis. Um. Yeah, you are going to perish up top. Let's simply throw reef damage into the boss. And then a reap you. We're gonna get the attack back. So let's just, you know, pump up the attack up top and we get a nice simple kill with that extra what? Already 40 reap damage, no problem there. Okay, bounding echoes is great. I mean, a proclamation is wonderful, but bounding echoes offers a lot of good for us. Ooh. We already got some mini wave clear, so let's take the molten encasement for some survivability and then let's take the early wickless tycoon for greed now if we get endless we're happy if we get something else we're happy we see quick quick is lame glug slot no not the glug are you gay oh man it's horrible right dregs and glug no way take the glare minder thank you very much okay um let's give you 25 health now I wish it did the other one, but who? Ah, horrible, quick, large stone. We don't have fusions for a while, so we can have time to decide what to put into a unit. Instead, we're just gonna give you some attack, because at best you're gonna be in a fusion or something. Make back that 50 gold, please. All right. Well then, if I drop you, you just perish. What? We're gonna drop this. Ow, oh, I should've done these in a slightly different order. Let's leave it at that. Draw Drake. Wow. Just wow. Okay, next turn, Roderick. Thank you.
There we go. Um, I'm just going to do some of this. I'm going to let this floor get blown away. Put a little damage in the boss just because I can. Get some money. I have one card left. It's going to be a drag. So we're going to just drop you here. Oh, one, six, seven. <laughs> Let's kill. Take that out. Give me gold. Give me a gold. Let me agree for this gold. Give me 10 more gold. Thank you. All right, skip. We already have a couple of those. Ooh, another molded entombed explosive. That could, well, we got a sweeper. Man, we got a lot of sweep damage. Let's take the purifying cleanse in case we do a burnout charge. Another wickless tycoon. Ah, uh, paraffin enforcer, okay. Let's go double artifacts. We look at this one first. Guild markers, fine. Hell's Banner is fine. Met on the units. Nexus Spike. Ooh. Um. Let's go a Molded with a Bounding Echoes. I don't know. That was not a, an amazing Nexus Spike. I don't like the Ring of Three Nexus Spike. It's not, it's not the strongest. All right, we can just drop you there. We're going to drop you up top, both of those up top. We're just going to start throwing Reap into the boss. All right, that can perish. Um, if I drop you, I can clear out more units. Yeah, I like that. And then I can still drop the Baron down here if need be. Awesome. Just continue that reap damage. Let's reform a drag. Let's go ahead and just drop this out. I think. Let's get rid of a unit. Awesome. Drop the double reap. And just drop one of these down as well. Very cool. Uh, you can get some burnout. Awesome. Nothing really otherwise good to do here. More burnout, I guess. We drop that unit. We're going to get quite a bit of stuff here. Just, you know, trying to get some gold. Let's reform this guy. I mean, what's <laughs> two health left? I think we got the kill here. I'm not really worried about these early waves. It's going to be this mid-game because I'm still at low shards because I'm just not getting shards. Ooh, hollowed halls, yes. And there's finally the Keeper of Echoes. I was hoping for a Keeper... A keeper Floor, but now it might just be something like... Paraffin Enforcer into a Glare Minder? I think we skip, I, despite how much I dislike that. All right, let's see what the banner has for us. Another large stone, another glare minder. What? What? We'll take a second glare minder. I think that's hilarious. Um, let's give it plus twenty-five health as well. We're gonna re-roll. 
endless. I guess an endless tomb. I don't know. Plus 10 attack on one of them. We are going to spend, by the way, a lot of money here just purging things. We get a nice piercing there. We get the minus two on that. We are going to put Paraffin Enforcer into a Glare Minder. We are going to get rid of these train stewards. Go away. We're just going to go for reform. We are going to put the multi-striker up top. Just as a fallback. We are, as I said, going to get rid of two more train stewards. Goodbye, goodbye. And now we'll continue on. It's, it, it's a deck. It's a deck. Right? Yeah. Uh, you can drop bottom, you drop top, and we just do our best to reap. Up top, I think, well, first off, we dropped you and you. Awesome. Uh, we're just going to get rid of this, and we're going to reap more into the boss. I'm just trying to clear out units from my deck. As best as I can. Awesome. Almost awesome. Got a nice 3 4 setup going right now. There we go. Endless. Cool. We are going to haul it hauls. Get your attack up and uh, just pink here. We drop you down. We are going to extend your burnout. Keep this attack nice and high. Just get a little more reap there, I guess. And a lot more attack up top. Right, this is pretty simple. We're just going to try to stack as much stealth up top. I think Chief is going to be able to take the top. I'm going to reform. Interesting. Not much damage. I'm going to take you out. Does anything have burnout one? I think it's hilarious, so we're going to get you... Burnout one to perish. A little bit more reap. But we're gonna have a good amount of stealth, right? And then I don't know. Drop one of these poor fellows down. Throw in the triple fracture. We get a nice easy kill up top, right? Not much worry there. Sure, cleansing water is fine. Echoes of the Past is going to be great scaling up top for that unit by himself. That's hilarious. Skip. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to my bosses, did I? I think I just skipped straight over that this time. We have Daedalus the Indiscriminate, Fell, Wings of Damnation, and Zap Seraph. Um, I think I can afford one more Merchant of Steel. Yeah, and then it's going to be Trinkets, Magic, Magic. Maybe we get the Multi-Strike, maybe we get the Burnout. See, there's a multi-strike. Perfect. Bam. Burnout one. Boom. Uh, we see minus two. We see intrinsic. We see... Sunderstone on this one. Very cool. We see max health, because we've already gotten rid of all of our train stewards. <laughs> And this is going into the Glare Minder, I guess. That's so much better if I would have went the other spy chief. <laughs> uh, anyways, Echoes of the Past is getting that minus two. Intrinsic can go into, I guess, Abounding Echoes. 
And we are going to just purge a card. Goodbye, Fracture. I want to get to my hallowed halls. If I can, please. Honestly, I might end up, and this might sound weird, taking space. Eh, we're going to infuse everything. You and you go bottom. Spine Chief goes top. Once again, we're just going to build a stealth floor up top. Oh. Anyways, you go here. Let's just heal. We're going to drop that there. Awesome. I'm going to start loading up this floor with damage. There we go. Get this hollowed halls. Very cool. We are going to get some gold here. I guess I didn't position that the best. I'm going to reap and then just get as much attack up there. I could be pumping this attack. Who cares, right? I don't care. Okay, now I do. That's pretty. That's a pretty good amount of attack. I'm gonna drop you bottom. How do I play the tomb bottom? It doesn't matter. It. It really doesn't matter. Bam! Money. Yeah, let's keep your stealth up, like a smart thing to do. Do I even have enough for that? No. I'm not gonna do any damage, so we're gonna haul it halls here. That's fine. Get some more damage going up top. We're just going to triple or reap the boss. And then, yeah. We get a nice kill. Maybe we get a mini stone. That would be hilarious. Anyways. Bam. Nice easy kill. We're still kind of just cruising through with no worries. Double stats. Now I think we're just pumping up our Spine Chief. We have Burnout, we have Rage, but I don't think we need to double any stats. Uh, we also don't need any of those. Skip, skip, skip all the junk. All right. We see Pyrestone Housing, meh. 50% attack. That's a decent upgrade for Spine Chief. There's a nice spell chain, though. Um, plus 10 attack obviously goes on this one. Yeah, I think... That's worth it, because we do have the guild marker. Ah, free units. Yes, please. Okay, very cool. We spell chain this hollowed halls. Easy answer. We're going to purge out a fracture. Also, easy answer. <laughs> um, staple two of our poor drakes together. We have two more temples. So we have plenty more units we can get rid of. This is great. All right. We drop double that. We drop spine chief up top. And all Spine Chief is going to do is going to sit up here. We're going to give it stealth as much as we can. We can get six units out. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And I guess we just let those two drakes sit in the deck. And that's my, not my favorite thing to do, but I, we, we are going to do that. We're just going to keep pumping up the attack up top. Now this would actually work really well with Reformer if I take you out, right? 
Because if I pump up your attack, then it gets the additional attack from Mark of a champion. Eh, it is an option. Um, eh, we're going to play them both out. Get rid of that. That floor is clear. That floor is up to max. So we're just going to get the mid floor up to max charge echoes and put some more reap into the boss. Yeah. Let's get the 15 and then the echoes of the pass and then we fracture the boss again. Anyways, drop this down. We're gonna reform our friendly glare minder. Let's uh, increase your burnout. Reap, and then echoes of the past. Drop you. Ooh, we're not fully killing stuff here. Echo transfer. I'm gonna pop you, echo transfer. And then we're gonna drop that in front so we can actually kill everything. And I'm gonna reap it down. This floor, plenty of rage, which is fine. That goes up top. We're going to hollow halls though. And again! Get some money out of it. I like that. You go away. Let's get our echoes as high as possible. We get some nice gold out of this. And drop you down. It went burnout. No. Whoops, I did not mean to click that. My mistake. I guess burnout aid, burnout increase, yeah. I mean, okay. I think we can still, with my mistake, get through this. Um, let's get you, Mr. Big Damage, with a couple of, yeah, I mean, we do this. We do this, we pop here, we get a kill. And 10 more gold. Very cool. Ooh, eternal kinstone. Yes, that's great for up top. We're taking the space. You can't stop me. Now we go this direction. Um, We see permafrost, we see spell chain, we see intrinsic, we see stuff I don't care about. Give me some heaven's gold. No size modifications. Refracting lens, why not? We're gonna have a healthy, hard to hit higher. We minus one this kid stone. We permafrost the nexus spike. I like to hit some of my key cards with that. <laughs> Double stack and minus one on purifying cleanse, I guess. I because I can. No, we're going full infector. We are going full multi strike, the weakest path. It is, um, but it's still so strong. We're gonna spell chain this because it's free and intrinsic. I'd rather see if I can get a hold over hold over for that we are going to intrinsic an echo transfer because I do draw the bounty necklace turn bring it on this is all fine now I could theoretically do something like play bottom floor I'm gonna infuse these guys you can get dropped down we are just going to pump up the front unit. Drop something like this. Drop you down. Very cool. 
Poor guy, he's almost dead. Um, we're gonna have you take both hits. Drop this down. Junk, junk, reap. I didn't need to reap that. Just take that out. Very cool. Still alive upstairs. Finally get this kinstone. Finally get the molten casement. Hmm. What else needs to be hit? That is like the only thing. So we are just going to Nexus Spike here. Get you back. Max out the attack. I drop that bottom. Throw in some reef. We take two hits. Aw, oh, man. And we've only played two consume spells. No. That's fine, I guess. Um, reap here. Very cool. I'm gonna drop you in the back. We are taking damage. That's a shame. All right, there's my. Gosh, I did that again. You need to go away. I'm gonna haul it halls. I'm gonna do it again. Took a good amount of damage here. It's whatever. Let's go ahead and get you back. Yeah. Honestly, I think we're gonna have to give up on the hall. Why did I get that? Go to the hall at Hall's drain. Um, we're just gonna go for these three on the floor. I think is the correct call. Just because that is a lot of damage. That is more damage. That is another AoE. I mean, this is another heal. It could bring back... Yeah, it, the only thing it could bring back is Bounty Axe. We don't really need that. Ooh, more stealth. I want more stealth. Alright, give me the money. Give me a double stack. Eh. Ooh, nice. Another minus two for that engulfed in smoke. Very cool. Let's purge out a molded because they're not necessary. No, I don't want to give you burnout three. Well, I could just reap you each turn. That's whatever. Who cares? Who cares? Uh, serrated mandibles. Yes. Sketches. Ooh. I would get one, two. If I get rid of one of these guys, right, that gets those four out right away, that would be a pretty good floor. I don't think it's needed. I really, really don't. I think we're going to end up taking that base charge. I think we're going to dupe. What are we gonna do? Uh, we'll find out after I get through my minus ones of my purges. All right, minus one, the fracture, plus 10, Revenge of the Damned. Don't think, I could double stack that. Yeah, cause that's not what I would hold over. Permafrost, no, minus one, yes. Goodbye, you. I don't really need the base charge, so we're not going to take it. Goodbye, that. Do. 
what do I want to do? I'm going to do this. I'm going to have one reform floor, and I'm going to have one main damage floor. I think that's hilarious. Ooh, a nice 300 shards. Fight. Right. We are going to drop you down. And put as much damage as we can into the boss. We're just going to keep you healthy and burned out. This does give you armor. That's the downside. Um, screw it. Cool. We do more damage than we gave them. That's all that matters. Yeah, see, now we get you, so we're going to reform and fuse. Drop that. Easy clear on the floor. Drop this. Also easy clear. If we reap and do that, you perish. If I take all this spell chain. <laughs> oh, no. That's not going to be fine. Let's pump up that floor then. That burnout three, it got me. It got me. There we go. Now we did that in the correct order. Let's No charged echoes there. That's hilarious. Let's just blast now. Just for more echoes, because uh, that applies more reef, which is good. How dare you sap, Seraph? Look at all that sap. It's okay. We can get more burnout. We are going to... There we go. We want to make sure we reap through that floor. I could be putting it on the sweeper. I don't know. I just kind of like putting it on the multi-striker because it's funnier. There's my hollowed halls play again. Good job, floor. Let's just make sure we reap that guy out. Awesome. Bop. I mean, we're going to reap here anyways. Downsides. No. No. All right. I guess we're just going to mega pump up your attack for sweep damage. Pop. Give me gold. Give me stealth. 17 stealth. I think I have plenty of stealth. Let's just continue to reap the boss. And I think Pummy in the back is fine. Alright, stealth, drop you, increase the burnout. We are going to go... Yeah, because this is going to be enough to just clear both of those units with the melee weakness doesn't really matter pop and this doesn't matter okay nice melee weakness sweeper oh boy a more armor thank you I also like the fact every five gold 
right? So every time I get 10 gold or two units killed, I get another plus one fire damage. Love this, okay. Doesn't matter which floor, I do not care. We are going to pump up your attack to decent numbers first. Um, kind of want both of those. If I can get two more things infused, this is only one infusion. So we're gonna drop you here. We're gonna get your attack really high. Let's start working on things that could scare me. I wouldn't say scare is the right word, but uh, things that could damage my frontliner if I'm worried about them. That floor is annoying. I'm gonna save this till the next turn. We drop you down. We are going to hollow it halls. And hollow it halls again. Very cool. Reap. Reap. Let's just put that damage into the box. There we go. Okay. That is pretty decent. We drop you. Um, I'm going to do our best on this floor. If I get you, so you're basically doing what, 74, 222? I want you to do a little bit more damage, right? 277? No, 267, excuse me. 267 is a lot more respectable. And now I can start pumping up the Spine Chief, I think. For that last melee, we can just those heavy hits. I guess that's 290, but I still want your attack to be higher. Look at that, I'm already up to 76 attack. Oh, I should have done the molded first, just for a little bit more attack damage, doesn't matter. I think I'm gonna be fine. I might take a couple of hits of damage. Yeah, I took a little bit of damage, doesn't matter. We engulf the smoke, then we drop you down. We're going to bop of this guy and then reap all into the spot. 84 damage, 12 reap is pretty decent, right? All right. We get all of this attack bonus into our triple striker. I think this time we will actually easily clear the boss. Awesome hollowed halls floor. Very cool. Yeah. See, we easily clear the boss out this time. Let's just make sure we take out one of those at least. Uh, goodbye junk, hello you, hello some of that damage, eh, pop that. Easy kill, easy kill.
run summary. There we go. A uh, nice, easy, simple win at 300 shards with arguably, quite easily arguable, the weakest Spine Chief pass. The multi-strike one. The multi-strike. The triple strike. The 25 by 3, 120. It's probably the weakest path. I mean, just compare these stats to Wilden 10. Man, is it so much beefier. Anyways, um, <laughs> would I probably have done better with, uh, what is it, Corruptor instead of Infector? Yes, you know. I could pump up the whole entire floor instead of just focusing on one. But it was kind of fun to have my own version of that, <laughs> right? So we have these two just my, Manny in a floor. We have the double glare minders. Um, and then we just had our own corruptor at home by gaining the charged echoes and then using those charged echoes on echo transfers as well as in echoes of the past, right? That's it's a lot of bonus attack damage. I don't know if it's as much as I could have gotten otherwise, but it's a good amount and plenty enough to get the win. Um, I wouldn't have gotten those pump spells if I had gone Corruptor instead of what I did with Infector here. So there's that. I mean, this is the weakest path. It is just still super strong. But right, if I just imagine, you know, was it plus 20 or something like that? Ridiculous per charged echo on this guy that's plus like 80 attack there right it's, you know let, let's just make sure let's just check this log book right yeah it is plus 20 attack per charged echo four charged echoes is plus 80 attack not including those this would have been a hundred attack i had to spend so much effort to get this up to 100 attack otherwise that it's it's ridiculous once again weakest path the other one uh yeah depending on your play style strongest second strongest but it's definitely super strong that would have put this at 100 attack really easy don't play the echo transfers don't play the echo of the past um, do other things, but 100 attack, stealth, melee weakness, this would have wiped things out so quick. It would have been so easy. But we didn't do that. We took the hard path. The hard, I'm doing air quotes, because this was an easy run. Anyways, we pushed through. We eventually found a multi-strike. We had triple glare miners because we found two of them, and we duped one. Yeah, this was a fun run. It was an easy run. It was Now it's a done run. So with that said, thank you for watching and have fun.